So the first thing we can do is listen to ATIS, uh, grab the ATIS code, and we'll eight. say something along the lines of yeah, Fayetteville approach, Diamond Star 244 Bravo Lima, 25 miles to the northeast, inbound for a full stop. So what they want to do when we call a Charlie is they want to know who we are, to include the type of aircraft. What do we want? We want a full stop landing. They want to know where we are. So we're going to indicate that we're 25 miles to the northeast. Okay, I'm going to give them a call. Fayetteville Approach, November 244, Bravo Lima. November 244, Bravo Lima, Fayetteville Approach. Good afternoon, Diamond Star 244, Bravo Lima. We're 25 to the northeast, uh, inbound for a full stop, and we have Sierra. November 244, Bravo Lima, Squawk 0211. 0211244 Bravo Lima. All right, now we've entered the code, and they're going to tell us where and when, and he's going to tell us. 244 Bravo Lima, position. radar contact 22 miles northeast of Fayetteville Airport, Fayetteville altimeter 2977, say hello, please. 2977, level 4500, 244 Bravo Lima. November uh, 4 Bravo Lima, it's not already changed my frequency, 133.0, enable enter right down when runway 4. Okay, we are on 133.0, and we'll make for the right downwind for runway 4, 244 Bravo Lima. Runway 262, Roger Radar, service terminator, frequency change approved. Okay, so now we want to figure out what our descent's going to be. And we can tell them that we're going to vacate 4,500. So we've got, to, we need to descend about 3,000 feet, approach, and the rule of thumb is 5 miles 000, per every 1,000. So about 15 miles away, we're going to start that descent. Sounds good. And, uh, air sprint eight, 12, what is, five, now we want to put in the tower frequency, frequency yeah, tower and the frequency. ground. Grab it off of here. There, I've got it right here in four flights. The tower is 118.3. With and then 121.3. Expect runway 23 at both. Seven. Okay, so we can switch that over since we've already got the ATIS. And another three nautical miles, I'll let them know that we're going to descend down. November uh, 4, Bravo Lima, if not already changed my frequency, 133.0. And we're on 133.0 for 244 Bravo Lima. Thank you. All right, let's get configured. I'm going to start the descent And bring it down to 30%. Okay, we'll approach 244 Bravo Lima is vacating 4,504 pattern. November 244 Bravo Lima, full stop at Favo, correct? Affirmative 244 Bravo Lima. And uh, November 4 Bravo Lima, roger. And a VFR altitude pilot's discretion. VFR altitude pilot's discretion for 244 Bravo Lima. All right, that gives us the clearance to come all the way down. Otherwise, they would have said something along the lines of descend and maintain. Yep. Puts us right in. And now that we got the field in sight. November 4 Bravo Lima, contact Fayetteville Tower 118.3, good day. 183 for 244 Bravo Lima, good day. Fayetteville Tower, 244 Bravo Lima, 10 miles. Inbound for runway 4. I'm 244 Bravo Lima, Fayetteville Tower, this will be a full stop. Affirmative. 1244 Bravo Lima, wind 3204, runway 4, clear to land. Runway 4, clear to land for 244 Bravo Lima. Okay, so landing descent checklist. Landing data we've got, altimeters are good, our common squawks are good, seat belts are fastened, backrest, fuel transfer is required, it's good. Parker brakes released, pumps coming on, landing light on. Okay, descent to approach checklist is complete. Approach complete. So we we'll want to be uh, just slightly outside of the field. Yeah. Right yeah. downwind, it'll yeah. be a right base turn. Right base turn, yeah. Yep, the right downwind is basically we got to be over the trees. Got it. So one of the things we'll prepare is as soon as we get the ground, go ahead and just get us cleaned up and off the runway and whatever the direction is, I'll spin it in so that we can zoom in and find out where we're taxiing to 
and I'll request taxi to signature. We don't find a lot of right patterns. This will be interesting. Yep. It's okay. We can use everything that, that the uh, G1000 gives us. Yeah. All right. We should start in on that heading. Uh, probably cut it in half. So two, two, five. Because we've got a gust factor pushing us yeah, outbound. This, this looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, nine knot gusts, nine knot winds coming this way. Hopefully it's getting down to almost nothing. All right, let's hand plot the plane. Squared off. We're going to be a little bit tight because you can see we're inside the wing. Yeah. Just extend it a little bit. Yep. Just push out. Keep your altitude. Yeah, I'd probably push out a lot more. Because look, at midfield, you're set 0.7, and you want to be 1.3-ish to 1.5-ish. Fish came in a little tight. Yep. There you go. Now you can start to square it off. Wind 340 at 7. Roger, thank you. 340 at 7. So, good. Okay. Flat below, below 110. 110. Start a slight descent. That power back a little more, it's a little windy. Target speed is 95, 500 feet per minute descent. Okay, when you hear the bell, there it, it should help indicate that you need to turn. Good. Nice 30 degree turn, keep that descent going. There we go, now I feel it. There you go. Okay, square your base. There we go, wings level, and then get ready to do a good 30 degree turn. Got it. There you go. Yep, keep it going. Okay. So we'll do a crosswind landing. high, but I think it's just a wide runway. Okay. AD over the field, displace threshold. Aiming for that second stripe. No, walk that power out. Start to pitch up. There we go. There we go. Get that first. Okay. Turn in four Bravo wing turn left at taxiway Delta. Taxi to head to the ramp. Left at Delta. Taxi to the ramp for two four four Bravo Lima. Okay. Aerodynamic braking. Stay on those. All right, so we're going to look at safe taxi, and we're going to go over to that right over there. Cool. Which means taxi ahead over to the ramp, so let's stop and get cleaned up at the hold short line. Cool. Okay, and then a checklist. After landing, flaps up, PWs off, pumps are off. Alternate air is closed, landing taxi light is safe taxi. Okay, 
And so we'll come in and go around these two aircraft and over there. Straight in. Yep. Clear right, clear left. And we'll take the first turn off. Sounds good. One of our twins. Could be. Looks like it. Uh, make this turn here. Cool. It is. And then pull on this T spot. Just any T spot. We're gonna. Um, I'm gonna file for that one there. Pull straight in when you can. There you go. And then just put the parking brake on.